U.S. fears World War III after President of Iran's death. There were initial fears among U.S. officials that the helicopter crash that killed President Ibrahim Raisi on Sunday could trigger a new world war, Politico reported. In particular, there were concerns that Tehran could seek to blame Washington and Israel for the incident, a source told the outlet. The helicopter carrying Raisi and his entourage, including Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian, went down in the country's northwestern East Azerbaijan province. According to the IRNA news agency, the aircraft crashed due to a technical failure, while rescue operations were hampered by adverse weather conditions, including fog and rain. In the aftermath of the incident, the White House is closely monitoring how Iran will react to Raisi's death, Politico noted, adding that unnamed senior U.S. officials do not expect any significant policy changes from Tehran. However, as the news of the crash broke, U.S. officials spent Sunday anxiously awaiting updates on the situation. According to Politico, they were waiting to see if Iran would accuse Israel or Washington of sabotaging the helicopter, even though there was nothing to suggest this. One unnamed official told the outlet that for a little while, it was not a crazy question to ask is this how World War III begins? U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has said his country played no role in the incident. Despite extremely tense relations with Iran, Washington offered official condolences and was willing to assist Tehran in the search operation, according to the State Department. Referring to the crash, an unnamed Israeli official told Reuters that it wasn't us. However, the chair of the Israeli opposition, Yisrael Beitenu Party, Avigdor Lieberman stated that West Jerusalem won't shed a tear over Raisi's death. Iranian first vice president Mohammed Mokbar is now acting as president with a snap election scheduled for June the 28th. The foreign ministry in Tehran has insisted the deaths of Raisi and Amir Abdullahian will not disrupt Iran's international policies. Tensions between Israel and Iran, arch rivals for decades, escalated last month when Tehran accused West Jerusalem of killing several senior Iranian military officers in an attack on its consulate in Syria. In the days that followed, Iran launched a large-scale retaliation strike on the Jewish state involving hundreds of missiles and kamikaze drones. A hailstorm hit Poland's western city of Nizno on Monday, causing flooding in the city and covering it in snow. Thunderstorms and hail continue in the city, prompting authorities to issue warnings for local residents. The Polish Institute of Meteorology and Water Management issued a hail warning for several regions on Monday. There is an increased level of danger for three regions. Thunderstorms are forecast with heavy rainfall of up to 80 mm, the institute said. Polish Defense Minister Władysław kosiniak kamysz announced that the Polish military would join in helping those affected by the hailstorm and eliminating the consequences of the disaster. Soldiers are mobilizing forces to provide assistance to the victims and eliminate the consequences, after the hailstorm in Nizno, the minister said. In Nizno and the surrounding area, rescuers received about 200 calls related to the disaster. The vast majority of these emergency calls had to do with pumping water out of flooded basements, apartments and commercial premises. Local farmers have already reported significant losses as many orchards were severely damaged.